Hello, Tyler from Transmitter Solutions here, and today we're doing a quick video guide on programming our Maglock 660, 880, and 1100. These Maglocks come with a 433 rolling code receiver. It has LED door status indicators, and it's fail safe. So if we go right into it, we have six terminals here. So the first two will be uh, the power terminals, the, you have a positive on top, negative on bottom. The next two terminals will be your exit button and then the bottom two terminals are for uh, door status. So you can have it normally open and normally closed based on this little jumper right here. So you see these right here. You can, If it's on the top two it's normally open and if it's on the bottom two it's normally closed. To store a transmitter, all we have to do is hold the programming button down until the LEDs turn off. At that point we can enter in as many transmitters as we'd like. After a few seconds, the LEDs will turn back on signaling that programming mode is finished. To delete transmitters, all we have to do is do the exact same thing. So we enter programming mode when the LEDs turn off. And so this was the previous one. It'll blink twice, signifying that it's been deleted. And the relays will also not fire. If there are no transmitters stored into this receiver and you're programming for the first time, you can also program wirelessly. So if you hold buttons A and B down at the same time, it'll blink signifying that it's ready to receive a command and you hold the A button down until the lights turn off and that'll signify that it's in programming mode and then you can program your buttons in. After a few seconds LEDs will turn back on and programming mode is complete. To change the timer settings we have to use a transmitter that's previously stored into this receiver. To start programming we'll have to push these two buttons at the same time for this blink and then we'll have to hold the B button down this time and the number of blinks indicate the amount of seconds we'd like to program it. So I'm going to program it to three seconds. So when we activate our mag lock, it'll be open for three seconds before locking up again. You can do this for up to 10 seconds. This completes our programming guide. If you have any questions, please visit us at transmarysolutions.com or call us at 866-975-0101. We'll be glad to help you out.